Okay, what I associate with baby mama and baby daddy is basically two people that have a baby but aren't in a relationship that's like romantic. So they're not dating or they're not married or they're not engaged and they're basically living separate lives and most probably dates other people as well. Baby mama and baby daddy drama is fighting over maintenance, <laughs> deciding who's getting the kid on the weekend and then you know the typical moms that keep the kids away from the dads like now nah, you can't see your dad he's not paying the maintenance. That's what I associate the drama with. Baby mama and baby daddy drama is the fact that perhaps that the people don't want to look after the child, they don't want to take full responsibility of the fact that they have a child. Do I break it down to my current girlfriend considering that I have a baby? So I can have to tell you that my current girl would be told by fucking means that to see when Ulozum understand that inga nyagi itzile Ushatele wambambo so uzotanda inga nyagi wambambo Uguta wiza langa ushlanga ene na lodi I don't think immediately when you guys meet because you don't know exactly where the thing is going but as soon as you can see that something serious is happening that I'm actually like committing myself to you then I should immediately know. We actually get excited. We actually get really excited when a guy says they do not have kids. You know that at Tumble Souls you make inside, you're like, oh, thank God. Yes, baby mama drama, done. I don't want, please, like keep it to yourself, I'm good. The minute you go into a relationship, you need to put everything on the table to say, this is who I am and this is what I come with. I need to know what I'm signing up for. <laughs> say it from the beginning. Um, I need to decide if I want to be in it or not. And I know there's mother of the child and there's baby mama. I prefer the mother of the child, by the way. I'd rather know from the get-go that, hey, you know what? You have a child and I need to be accommodating in my life because I expect you to be a responsible father. Some men are not cut out for this lifestyle. Yes, they can make a girl pregnant, but they're not cut out for the life of taking care of what happens after. The reason why um, a lot of men out there are not actually taking care of their kids because We've been raised in a society where fathers are not actually there. I have a father. I have a very loving father. I have a father that hasn't worked in years. But he, made, he, he never ran away because he didn't work. He was there through and through, you know what I mean? The simple truth about life is that you'll never be, you'll never be ready for a child. There's never a moment where you're rich enough or you're conscious enough or you're aware enough that you're ready for a child. So there's never an opportune or perfect moment. When the time happens, it happens. You just need to act up, that's it. You just need to grow the fuck up, grow some pair of balls, and live up to the fact that you, your product game was that weak. 